How's it going, you guys? AZPlyo21 back again with another episode of our UFC save in WMMA5. And today, it is UFC Fight Night, Dern versus Robertson. Now, this is a very important fight in the women's flyweight division. Basically, a number one contenders fight, honestly, between Mackenzie Dern and Jillian Robertson. We are making our way towards UFC 290, Sanhagen versus Wood. Main event being a Bantamweight title fight. Gotta love it. The next pay-per-view after that is UFC 291, Jones versus Velasquez for the heavyweight championship of the world. That one's an even bigger one with three title fights on that card. Let's go ahead and get right into it. It's been a while. I appreciate you guys as always. I'm AZPlyo21. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, follow me on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. We're starting to gain a couple more followers here and there as I play various games. So come be a part of it. Be a part of the chat. Let's get into it. Dern versus Robertson in Moscow because this was supposed to have the Fedor fight as the main event. But Fedor didn't have enough time to prepare for the fight. So his fight actually got moved to the United States. Funnily enough, let's get into it. Starting first, of course, with our prelims. Odie Osborne taking on Mateus Vasco in the Bantamweight division. And it is Odie Osborne getting the win here today via TKO. Yusuf Zalal taking on Jacob Weeklotch in the Featherweight division. And it is Zalal getting the win. John Lineker taking on Su Chul Kim in the Bantamweight division. And Lineker losing twice in a row since coming back to... Actually, no, that's four fights in a row that he's lost since coming back to the UFC as he loses to Chu Chul Kim here today. Christopher Carpenter taking on Askar Askarov. I believe Carpenter is a regen fighter. He is. Interesting. Coming off a win over Ronaldo Condito, and he gets a unanimous decision victory over Askarov, who is probably going to be the number one contender in real life for the flyweight title. Janelle Lausa taking on Ryuto Sawada in the flyweight division. And Sawada comes out on top, getting a knockout in round number two in his UFC debut nonetheless. Livia Sosa taking on knockout queen Asha Roca. And it's Asha Roca, knockout queen for sure, getting the win over Renata Sosa in just under 20 seconds. And a well-needed win, her first in her UFC career. Demarte Pena taking on Jack the Tank Shore in the Bantamweight division. And it's Jack Shore with the unanimous decision victory over Demarte Pena. He's now 16-1-1. A very good prospect to look out for. Daniel Torres taking on Lance the Party Palmer. Some face cream for that bad skin. Oh no. Talking trash on the fighters already is Blake. Lance Palmer, two-time PFL world champion, two and three currently in the UFC, taking on Daniel Torres, who is one and one, and Torres gets the submission victory in round number one. Leslie Smith, who in real life we just saw lose to Cyborg for the featherweight Bellator championship, takes on Larissa Pacheco in the featherweight division, and Pacheco knocks out Leslie Smith. In round number two, my guess is that Smith retires here, and that wouldn't be a bad thing. She's uh, pretty old, and she does not retire. Okay, Leslie Smith going to stick around. Dan Hooker taking on Mansoor Barnawi in the first fight on the main card. Dan Hooker having a tough go of it here in this save. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Coming off a loss to Gavin Hughes. Barnawi, number 16 in the division, coming off a win over Dobby Ramos. And it's Barnawi who gets the TKO victory of Dan Hooker in round number three. Nasrat Hakparas taking on Christian Lee in the lightweight division. Hakparas is 15 and 4. Lee is 18 and 3. Christian Lee, number 23 in the division, undefeated at 5 and 0. And he stays undefeated in the UFC via knockout in round number three. Appreciate it a lot, Kento. First time tuning into the stream. Here's to more times joining us in the Twitch chat. 
I appreciate you. Who's your favorite MMA fighter, Killa? The Irish car bomb, Todd Duffy, taking on Alexander Gustafson in the heavyweight division. Has not been a very fruitful introduction to the heavyweight division for Alexander Gustafson. A win over Abdurakimov and then losing to Steve Mowry. He's now number 14 in the heavyweight division, number 18 in light heavyweight. Todd Duffy, on the other hand, number 15 in the heavyweight division. And Alexander Gustafson, we wanted him to get a win. He got a win. TKO, not even, a knockout over Todd Duffy in round number one. Time to give Christian Lee some tougher opponents. I agree. I agree. 6-0 in the UFC. Got to be a big step up now. Valentina the Bullet Shevchenko taking on JoJo Calderwood. Former champion in Shevchenko. Was on three straight losses and then got a big one back over Paige Van Zant. This would be such a good fight in real life. Which one are you talking about? The one that just happened? Or this one? Because I don't know about this one. <laughs> Uh, Calderwood coming off a win over Barella before that, a three-fight losing streak. Wow! Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know what's going on with uh, Valentina. Loses the title. Loses again in the rematch. Whew, wow, okay. Calderwood gets a big win over Shevchenko. Yeah, Duffy versus Gustafson would probably be a very good fight in real life. I've been loving Usman since the tough days, man. But since I've been watching your save, Uriah Faber made my list after his fight with Jan. Uh, big Uriah Faber fan. RBM is going to be a fan of you. Violence Queen Ariane Lipsky taking on Montana De La Rosa, former champion in Montana De La Rosa, recently losing it to Valerie Lareda. Ariane Lipsky probably very close to a title shot. A win over Montana De La Rosa definitely gets her, gets her a step closer. It's our co-main event of the evening, and the former champion gets a big win over Ariane Lipsky in her first fight since losing the title. She's calling out Mackenzie Dern. And we have arrived at the main event. Basically a number one contenders fight for the flyweight championship. It's Mackenzie Dern and Jillian Robertson in our main event. Robertson number three in the division coming off wins over Lipsky and Chukagian. And Mackenzie Dern Number two in the division wins over Velasquez and Andrea Lee. It's our main event. It's a title eliminator. Let's see what happens. Mario Yamasaki, your referee. We touch gloves. Dern going for a takedown. Trying to get it to the ground. She can't. Dern defending a takedown well. Out wrestle Dern looking for a takedown and she gets it. Can't pass guard. A little more than halfway through round number one. Half guard. Round one expires. 10-9 to Dern. Round two out of five. Upcoming. Dern gets a takedown, threatens a submission. What? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki calls a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine choke, Jillian the Savage Robertson. Jillian Robertson is your number one contender. Unbelievable. Dern took her down again, but on the way down, 
Robertson just clutched in that submission, and she got it. Robertson will be fighting Valerie Lareda for the Flyweight Championship. Uh, let's see here. Fight of the night. Ooh, fantastic fight. Go and give it to Barnawi and Hooker. Ooh, there was a couple, actually. We'll give it to Barnawi and Hooker. Pacheco and Sawada will give performance bonuses. Gustafson performance bonus. Asha Roca performance bonus. All right, we're all good there. Nice little profit on the show. Dern, Gustafson, and Duffy, the highest paid fighters. As always, we're going to take a look at our rankings and sign off and let you know what the next fight card is. Sorry that it's been a while since I've uh, streamed WMMA 5 or really released anything to uh, go up on YouTube. Uh, it's been a weird couple of weeks. I've been traveling a buttload. I recently got back from Houston to go to the UFC pay-per-view. Saw Michael Chandler lose to Charles Oliveira. Literally a week later, this past weekend, I went to Las Vegas to go hang out with my family. And a couple of family members are a little sick and whatnot. So some personal time taken away from streaming. But everything should be good here on out. Me, myself, I actually got a little sick. Uh, had a little bit of an ear infection that's uh, been bothering me. And I'm still kind of feeling the effects of it, honestly. Uh, some headaches and whatnot uh, from that. A little ringing in my ears. Kind of annoying, but hopefully week or so everything's good to go i'm in high spirits but yeah getting back to what i enjoy doing recording this content for all of you guys appreciate you as always how about the ufc this past weekend though cody garbrandt losing like four out of his last five fights now after losing to rob font and rob font might be the real deal we will have to see. Let's go ahead and update our rankings. Alex Gustafson into the top 10 now after beating Duffy, who goes down to number 19. Light heavyweight, no movement. Middleweight, no movement. Welchweight, no movement. Yeah, that was a crazy fight between uh, Chandler and Oliveira. Lightweight Barnawi into the top 10. Wow. Wow. Up from like number 16 or 17. 4 and 1 in the UFC. He's only lost to Jeremy Kennedy, who is number 12. Christian Lee up to number 18. Nothing at Featherweight. At Bantamweight, John Lineker is at number 11, even though he just lost. That makes zero sense to me. He's lost four straight fights. That makes no sense. We might send John Lineker down to uh, to WEC. Not 100% sure if we will. That makes zero sense. He just lost. Chul Kim isn't even ranked higher than him. Oh, well. Nothing at flyweight. At women's featherweight. Pacheco up to 6. Smith down to 10. Jillian Robertson up to number 2. How fast is she going to recover? 20 days, that's perfect. Mackenzie Dern down to number 5. Calderwood to number 9. Shevchenko down to number 11. And yeah, nothing at Strawway. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm AZ Plow 21. The next time I see you guys will be for UFC Fight Night. Fedor versus Curtis Blades. We're making our way towards San Hagen and Wood. Also got Rodriguez and Aldo coming up. I appreciate you guys as always. You guys have a good rest of your day.